Okay, in this video I'm going to talk about uh, speed controlling a drill motor with an Arduino. Uh, I originally started this and thought the best way to do it would be to rectify the AC into plain DC and then use an opto isolator and raw PWM just to chop up that DC and send it to the motor. Uh, but this turned out not to work very well because uh, <laughs> my circuit wasn't very robust and I had a lot of failures in here. I'm still not exactly sure what the problem was, but apparently controlling uh, a drill motor, which is a very high power motor, it's a, a universal motor, so it's sort of like a series DC motor that can also run on AC because it has uh, uh, modifications so the eddy current losses aren't so bad. Uh, but anyway, there were a lot of problems with that and I kept blowing out MOSFETs and protection diodes, so I eventually abandoned that idea. Uh, I searched the net and found that a lot of people do this by uh, controlling a triac, an opto triac, with the Arduino. Uh, but then the problem is you need a zero cross detector. So if you use a triac to control AC voltage, uh, you need some way of knowing when the AC cycle starts. Uh, and then you can start a timer in the Arduino and um, turn on the triac at some point after the AC signal crosses zero. But this gets to be complicated because you need to program with interrupts and then you need two optocouplers, one to send the zero cross signal and the other one to send the triac firing signal back out of the microprocessor. And so I was kind of trying to avoid all this complexity and I think I came upon a pretty good solution. So what I did was I took the trigger switch out of this drill motor and hardwired it so that it just spins one direction. I'm not going to worry about direction control yet. This is just speed control. And inside the trigger switch was this little circuit board here. And on it there's just a triac, a variable resistor, and a capacitor. So when you pulled the trigger, the variable resistor would change value and the capacitor would charge at a different uh, rate. So this was all set up so that when the AC voltage crossed zero, it would take some time for the capacitor to charge up, and then it would fire the triac and send the rest of the AC signal to the motor. And then when the AC signal went into the other half of its, uh, you know, below zero, the same thing would happen and it would fire again sometime later. So as I said, doing this with a microcontroller is a problem because you have to know the zero cross. And um, to get around this, I came up with this solution here. Let's see if I can zoom in so you can get a look at this. I replaced the physical uh, potentiometer with a CDS photoresistor and hot glued an LED to it. And the LED is controlled uh, directly by the Arduino. Just one, one pin, PWM pin. And uh, I didn't even bother using a filtering capacitor. So the switching is it's running at about 30 kilohertz or something like that. And if that value of the resistor changes at 30 kilohertz, it, it ends up not even mattering because all we're doing is changing how fast that capacitor charges up. So even if the value of the resistance fluctuates a lot, it really doesn't matter. Once the capacitor charges to the correct value, the triac will fire and uh, send the rest of the power through the drill motor. So, I can zoom in here, you can see this LED working. Oops. So I just have brightness control over that with the PWM signal. All right, that's enough of that. So in order to protect this thing from the room lights, I'm just gonna put this piece of tape on it. Eventually, once this project gets to be a little more finished, I'll have a better, you know, light tight case. And I'm going to plug the drill motor in. Now, when I vary the brightness of that LED, it's very, very fine control of the speed of the motor there. So this is great. This is a really low component solution. You don't really need to code anything in the Arduino. It's just straight PWM out, no timing, no interrupts. 
and the only components that you need outside of the microcontroller are this triac dimmer circuit. You could also hijack a standard uh, dimmer for like a house, you know, house lighting. It's the same circuit. And a CDS cell and an LED. So this is great. You can control high power loads with this. And uh, I'm really happy with this solution. So let me know what you think.